Hello and welcome back. Trunnelled at the mothership here. Today we're going to check some things I might do to my snares in order to make them sound more punchy or to fix them in some cases. Before all that though, I wanted to give a couple of announcements. I'll be doing live music production streams on Twitch. My channel over there is called Trunnelled McDonald and, and I'll leave the link in the description below. And the first stream will be a test stream today, Wednesday, at noon GMT-6 or also known as Mexico time. This Twitch channel will be all about experimenting all kinds of music styles. And it might not be as streamlined as videos in this channel, it's why I would like to keep it separate. Also, there is more things coming in this channel very soon, so stay tuned. In other news, if you use Brave Browser, and you should, we have been verified as content creators. For all of you who don't use it, you are missing out. Or, well, correct me if I'm wrong. But that browser really, for me, is the bomb. It's great for privacy and it, it blocks ads and trackers. So it's really, really cool. Anyways, this video is not about blatant self-promotion. Maybe a little. But also, it is about the joy of music production and its nemesis, the snare. Let's see how I would go about fixing a bad sounding snare. Uh, first of all, you might be asking yourself why I rather not start with a better sounding snare altogether, right? And yes, you are right. But maybe you're married to your snare and you don't want to let it go. Well, this might help you solve some issues in your snare producer relationship. Let's start with a kick and a damn horrible snare then. Sounds good? Awesome. Okay. I'll make some sounds also just for reference. I can't really work on an empty project. So, I really have to say it again, it's best to start with a better sounding snare in the first place. But if you just want to stick to your guns and want to get that bad sounding snare to punch through, this tutorial is for you. For, so first way to treat your snare would be multiband distortion. You can use any distortion that you have available. Uh, I'll just use Quadrophos because it's easy and just there. Get your bands in place and get the most out of that ugly snare. Gate on each band is quite useful to get it sounding tighter. Now, this will make your snare at least hit the right frequency range. And if you see on the spectrum, it's hitting pretty flat. So then the second machine I could recommend is Vitamin. You can use a transient shaper like this one on Cubase or, you know, any other transient shaper, but it won't quite do the same job. Vitamin is enhancing somehow in a much more natural way. You can go to town with a vitamin, it really sounds great. Remember, in the end you might need to bounce this snare and place it right because of all the group delay from multiband process. Here, if you can't get it sounding right with single band control, you can use the macro controls for all the bands. I'll adjust the punch.
just adjust to taste. With this, you can really give good body to your snare. Just watch out you don't go over the limit on the output. The obvious third process is reverb. It's obvious, because most times it's essential. I will use it in parallel on a return track. I'll use Revelation, but try out your best available reverb there. You can check my video about different reverbs right here. I like to keep the snare in a real kind of room, so a short room verb for me is the best for a snare. A bit of reverb always helps, but not too much, or it starts sounding like not so good. And well, if these don't sort it out, the cause might be lost. But for the hopeful, maybe there is still a chance. The fourth way to fix this snare would be equalization. After all the processes, the sound might need some adjustments with an EQ. So I will set this up not as linear, but as something that preserves better the transients. Anything is better than linear phase for that. I would maybe polish a bit the rough edges. Trying not to take too much of the character, but as EQ goes, it is dependent on each track and on each producer. The next step would be layering. In this case, the track is like breakbeats, so I would like a bit more low end on this snare sound. You can also layer it with other sounds. Always, always try new stuff and experiment. If you want to see more in depth of how to layer a snare, check out the video right here. Now, I will create a group. After layering anything, I would send layers onto a group and compress them together. There needs to be some dynamic control. So step six is another multiband processor, a compressor. This will help the summing of the snare layers and the process. I'm using titanium here. If you're curious about it, check out Acoustica Audio. Here's a quick review of a couple of them. Okay, I need to make a little bit of music around this snare. So fast forward if you want to see the seventh step.
after a bit of fiddling around, this snare sounds something like this. This has a lot, this has a bit too much reverb, but I kind of like it with this kind of slow music. As you can see, you can fix your snare with a few different tools. For the people staying till the end, this is a pretty cool trick I learned in a horse track, in a in a horse racing track in Australia. No joke. After all this is done, I like sometimes to shape the snare with LFO tool or any volume shaper like this. <laughs> sometimes, though, not not every time. So well that's all for now, I hope this was useful. Sorry for the lack of content the past weeks, it has been pretty busy times lately in the real life department. But if you want to see more in depth the construction process of something like this track, check out Tronal McDonald in Twitch. I'll be streaming every Wednesday, hopefully. Maybe more depending on the public response, maybe less depending on uh, real life. But anyways, like and subscribe and all that stuff and check out Patreon for the presets and all related to this channel. And remember, if you use Brave Rewards and you want to support the channel this way, you can donate BAT here, or on our Twitch channel, or also on our websites. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time.